This is practice 4-6. We're going to look at numbers 11, 12, and 13. We're going to write equations of lines. In this first problem, we want to write the equation of a line that has a slope of negative 2 and goes through the point positive 2, negative 4. So here's your answer. y equals mx plus something. We know our slope is negative 2. That means m is negative 2. So put that negative 2 in the m spot. y equals mx plus b. The thing that you don't know is the y-intercept. This point is not a y-intercept because that value is not 0. So we need to use this that's an x, that's a y. Use that slope, this x and this y, to find your b. So we're going to do this. Write down y equals mx plus b. And you're going to plug in your y value, your m value, your x, and you're going to solve for b. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. Add 4 to both sides. When you do that, you get a 0 for your y-intercept. We already had the slope. Put that 0 right here. The equation of your line is y equals negative 2x. If you want to put plus 0 on the end, you can. Number 12. We want the equation of a line that's parallel to the graph of y equals negative 5x minus 3, and it's going to pass through the point 0, 2. If you want lines to be parallel, you need to make sure that the slopes are the same. So notice how the slope here is negative 5 or negative 5 over 1. Well, the slope of your answer, y equals mx plus b, the slope of this new line needs to be the same as this because the word parallel is there. What you need to put here is the y-intercept. Is this the y-intercept? Or is this just a random point? This is the y-intercept. That's because the x value is 0. Anytime that happens, this is your y-intercept. 2. Here's your answer. This is the equation of a line that's parallel to this one and has this point on it. y equals negative 5x plus 2. Number 13, we want lines to be perpendicular. So perpendicular to this line and goes through this point. Notice the slope on this line is 2 over 1. You want the equation of a line that's perpendicular to this one. So you're not going to keep the slope the same. You're going to change it. You're going to flip it and change the sign. So you're going to make it negative 1 half x plus the y-intercept. The y-intercept is not this point because that's not 0. But this is an x and a y. Plug in your y, your m, and your x. Our y is negative 1. Our m is negative 1 half. Our x is 10. We need to find the y-intercept. Okay, so we're going to simplify right here. What is half of 10? 5. Well, what if it was negative? Add 5 to both sides.
your y-intercept is 4. We already knew the slope needed to be negative 1 half to make the lines perpendicular. So put that positive 4 right there. That's the equation of the line that is perpendicular to this one and goes through this point.